On Friday the 13th of November 2020, a YouTube channel with over 4.5 million subscribers that averaged well over 1.2 million views per video was deleted from the internet. Now I'll be honest with you, I had no idea what this channel was until about five hours before the deletion of the channel, which was about three o'clock in the morning. And I just happened to be on YouTube when I saw the channel Unus Arnus was streaming with over a million people watching. I originally thought it was Un Anus, and so I just clicked it for the bands. But oh boy, do I regret not being on YouTube for longer to have seen what this magnificent piece of art, this experiment was. Their 12 hour live stream ended up with over 1.5 million people watching the final seconds and ultimately the deletion of their entire channel. And for those that don't know, Unus Arnus was a channel created by the big name YouTubers Markiplier and Ethan Nestor. Though I don't know much about them, I knew that they were pretty big names in the YouTube community. On the channel they posted content daily and apparently it was amazing and from the highlights that I saw in the live stream it looked pretty good. Really high quality, really high effort. It wasn't just some sort of crappy one to two minutes of like a video game or a compilation of a video game where they just banged it out over the course of a day and split it up into a couple videos and they're just talking or like podcasts. It looked like they had some really good videos which are all gone, wiped off the face of the internet. Ish. And upon further research, it became clear to me that Unus Arnus was this experiment where we were asked, what would you do if you only had one year? Along with the phrase memento mori, which is remember, you must die. Memento mori. No. I then watched Markiplier's video explaining how he felt because I had no idea who the other guy is. I'll be honest with you, I really don't know. Like, I, I just, and I couldn't give a toss. Sorry. <sighs> but young Mark made some really interesting points that you can't really appreciate something until it's gone. And that's exactly what they did. They made this channel where they put such high levels of energy, effort, and intensity and creativity. So everybody would love it, including themselves. And it would be so hard for people to let go of, so hard for people to kill. And then on November 13th, instead of hitting us with the Uno reverse card, they deleted it. The screen went black and it was gone. They deleted their channel, all the social media accounts and merch stores associated with it, and it's as if it never existed. It literally now only lives in the memory of people who'd seen the videos. People like me who'd seen fragments and little bits and pieces and highlights over the past year. And to me, that's this artistic beauty, this fitting ending. And it brings up this important question to me of what would you do if you only had one year?